Today I'm going to show you how to make the bacon, egg, and cheese burrito for the um, Golden Bowl Cafe. All right. So I'm going to be talking about this uh, recipe from two perspectives. Number one, the one you're going to make for practice in class for your pathway to get our check mark. And then I'm also going to talk about it, how you will prep it for the actual Golden Bowl Cafe. We want you to practice, number one, to be able to taste it, number two, so then you have a general idea of how to make a small batch, because when you make it for the cafe, you'll be making a larger batch, okay? So bear with me through the back and forth of it, all right? So in your recipe, the we want these to be gourmet. So for Java Chino, we did, you know, cheese, sausage, and egg. We are going, we're doing cheese, bacon, and egg, and we'll prep all of that. However, we're going to add a spread, which is going to step it up a notch to make it gourmet. We really want the Golden Bowl to be separate from Java Chino, so we're really focusing on different recipes with elevated flavors, all right? So to kind of, you know, take Java Chino, what you learned there, and then step it up a notch for the Golden Bowl, all right? So for our spread, we're going to call this a Chipotle aioli. So if you recall from Cuisine Chef, if you took it, an aioli is a flavored mayonnaise or it can be made into a sauce, all right? So the first thing I'm going to add into my bowl, and this is a small amount. If you were prepping this for the actual cafe, you would prep probably about 20 portions. I'm only gonna be prepping a couple. So the first thing I'm gonna add in is a quarter cup of just mayonnaise, all right? And I've already pre-measured that. And I'm just using a rubber scraper. So you can do this by hand, okay? Then we're gonna add in a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm using bottled, but your teacher might have extra lemons and provide you with fresh lemons. So kinda, it's, this is gonna be deterrent on what is available at your campus, all right? The next thing we're gonna add in is Chipotle adobo sauce. And I took that just from a can of Chipotle peppers, all right? So we're gonna add that in, and this is kinda spicy, which is why we're only using a little of it, all right? And as this sits and marries, it's gonna add a lot more dimension of flavor, all right? Next thing I'm gonna add in is a pinch of garlic powder. So um, for a pinch, that's a lot, right? A I want you to see, okay? A pinch is a pinch, all right? So when you make a the larger amounts for the Golden Bowl Cafe for sale, we will have a more exact amount for you. We just have to determine how much we actually want you to make. We're probably going to aim at first for just about 20 burritos for each day of service. Um, so you will have an exact measurement, not just a pinch. But for your tasting, it will be just a pinch. Um, I also added the cayenne pepper, so just a pinch of that. This is also pretty spicy, especially as it sits in Mary's. And then the last thing, just a pinch of salt, all right? And we're just gonna stir that up just to make sure it's all incorporated. Remember, this is going to be a spread. We're not going to spread this on the burrito, okay? So we want, we're gonna have all these features ready to go for the burrito, but it's kinda gonna be order as you go. And the reason being is customers like to specialize their order, and some customers don't want this spread, and some customers would like to have it. So what we're gonna do is we're always gonna have the spread available, but we're gonna serve it on the side, okay? So then what we'll do, and this will be on your prep day, is we have these two ounce cups. We're gonna take a purple portion scoop, and we're just gonna take one scoop of this, and this is only enough for two portions to give you, put it into perspective. I'm gonna put it right in there, all right? And then I'm gonna put a lid on this, and then I will label it on the top, either with a sticker or with just a permanent black marker, and I would put Chipotle spread, okay? So then um, every time a customer orders this, they can, put it, they can choose to put it on themselves, so this won't hold up your service at the cafe, all right? So as I said, this makes enough for two. Again, um, you'll, if, when you're actually prepping this for the cafe, you'll, have an, you'll be making enough for 20. Okay, so this is only a small amount, but this is what you're gonna be sampling, okay? Just like so, so I have that all ready to go. It doesn't seem like a lot, but again, it's a spread, okay? So there is our spread, all right? And we'll be back to show you the eggs. All right, so now I showed you how to make our spread, so those are prepped and off to the side ready for uh, eating or the day of service, depending on what your 
goal is. And then the next thing I'm gonna show you is this little setup I have here. So as I said, our, um, these burritos are gonna be made to order. So on the burrito day, we're gonna have a bacon, egg, and cheese, which is all gonna be separate just in case someone doesn't want bacon or someone doesn't want cheese. And then we're also gonna have a veggie. Okay, so essentially, you're gonna have two of these uh, hotel pans set up, okay? And you're gonna prep this the day prior, all right? So in one of these, you're gonna prep bacon, all right? And I have, I make, I'm gonna show you how to make assemble and whatnot, but this is pre-chopped uh, up and pre-cooked bacon, so essentially, you don't have to do anything to this bacon except for prep it in your hotel pan, okay? So I'm putting three third size pans within a large hotel pan so then you're very organized and it's you can do this in the classroom and then bring it down to the golden gold cafe okay so let's pretend so you just put it in here i'm only i only measured enough for the two for your practice burrito but you get the idea then in your second one you're going to have your cheddar, shredded cheddar cheese we'll buy it pre uh shredded for you and for the two burritos you just need two ounces two ounces of bacon and I put that in there. So, so if you were making this in larger scales, this would be full with enough for 20 burritos. This would be full for enough for 20 burritos. And then the last thing is our eggs. So you can do this in one of two ways. Um, each burrito is uses about one and a half eggs. For your practice, we are going to make two burritos. Um, so essentially three eggs, okay? When you are making this for the actual cafe, you will be prepping 30 eggs in total, okay? So to do that, you can mix it all and put it in a bowl and get it ready and then scramble it the morning of the day we're going to actually make these burritos. Or you can scramble them the day before and then you can reheat them the day of the event. It kind of depends on what else is going on in the cafe, in the catering class, etc. So your teacher will give you specific directions as to how they want you to run that that week. Okay. Obviously, we want to do it the morning of, but sometimes if we have a morning event going on or anything like that, it makes it a little bit more difficult. All right, so I put my three eggs in there, and obviously if you were making this in bulk, you would use a larger bowl, all right? And I'm just scrambling them up with a fork, all right? So to um, season these, we're not gonna season it with salt and pepper, which typically you would, but because we're adding bacon and cheese, that is a lot of flavor. And then we also have this side, this side of uh, the Chipotle spread. So we don't want to overdo it because it's going to be really salty, okay? To season it though, I am going to be using oil and butter in my pan as I scramble them. And we're going to be scrambling them just till wet. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. You're going to follow me to the range in just a second, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, we are back. I'm gonna show you how to scramble your eggs till wet. So in our pan, I have combined a teaspoon of oil and a teaspoon of butter. So oil prevents sticking, butter adds flavor. So I like to do a teaspoon of both whenever I'm making eggs, all right? If you don't have one of them available, you can just use, you know, just oil or just butter. It's just if you have both available, it's really nice for that, for, for the, the flavor and then to prevent it from sticking. I'm just going to turn my heat down a little bit. Remember, I'm only scrambling three eggs. When you um, do this for the actual cafe, you're going to be scrambling 30. So your teacher might direct you to use the griddle or a larger pan, okay? Kind of just depends on what else is going on in the room. All right, so when you first put it in there, it starts cooking, the, the pan was preheated, and then you start kind of swirling the eggs around. So you can kind of see how they are coagulating. That just means that the eggs are starting to cook. And again, we're just gonna cook these till wet. We, we don't wanna get any brown on them. So to have that, prevent that browning from happening, you just constant movement to keep them scrambling. All right? And it does not take long. A lot of times kids, when they're scrambling the eggs, they cook them until they're just so hard and then they end up being very rubbery and we want them to be light and fluffy, all right? So I'm gonna continue to cooking this for about two minutes. I'm not gonna waste your time, so we'll be right back. All right, so we are back and I scrambled the egg till wet, and how do you know it's wet? See how it's still kind of glistening, there's no golden brown, okay, and it's nice and coagulated. So again, this is only three eggs, enough for two burritos. You're gonna be making like 30 eggs, and then you'll fill your one third of your hotel pan, all right? 
So if you follow me over to our location here, I'm gonna set up my station, all right? So let's put this into perspective, okay? So you'll bring down, this will all be prepped in the classroom. We don't want our guests to see any food prep, okay? They can see us assembling, that's totally fine. But we don't want this scrambled in the cafe. So you'll be prepping everything in the classroom, okay? So we're only making, like I said, two burritos. Um, so this will be filled when you do it for the actual cafe. But the day of prep, you'll plastic wrap this, label it bacon, and then for the day of the event, cheese, label for the day of the event, and then scrambled eggs. The morning of the event, you'll either scramble your eggs or you will warm the pre-scrambled eggs up. You'll just bring it, get them to warm and your teacher will give you more information on that, okay? So now we're going to assemble, all right? So I have my two burrito size uh, tortilla uh, wraps. I, of course, forgot these over here. <laughs> All right, so we will have these wraps for you, all right? Yours might be different depending on what your teacher has available, but it will be some form of a, of a foil wrap, similar to Java Chino. All right, so we just purchased one of these. Um, this will be in the Golden Bold area. If it's not available to you at that time, you will pre-warm these down in the classroom, wrap them up in aluminum foil, and then keep them warm in some type of insulated carrier. Now, when the guest orders a burrito, you're gonna make it to order. What does that mean? That means maybe they don't want cheese. Maybe they don't want bacon, okay? I'm gonna show you how to make the full order, but ask the guests when they say, I would like a bacon, egg, and cheese burrito. And you say, you want everything on it? And they're gonna say yes, and then you put everything on it. If they say no, would you like to customize it? You say, okay, would you omit the bacon or omit the cheese? Okay? And you can tell them that the spread is always on the side. Okay, So as cu good customer service, you have to ask your, your guest probing questions to make sure you truly understand what they want. Because you're going to have people come there and be like, you don't have a vegetarian option. We have a veggie option, but it still has cheese. We have, they might just want egg and cheese with the spread. So you really got to ask them. Okay, All right, so we're going to open this up just like so. You're going to put your burrito right down your wrap and then you're just going to warm it just to get it's easier to roll up once it's rolled i'm going to grab my portion quarter cup all right so it is nice and warm you just need to do it for about you know it's nice and hot uh like 15 seconds all right so i'm going to put it right on top of my uh rolling paper my foil i'm going to take a quarter cup of my egg mixture put it right in the center kind of spread it out and then you're gonna take about a tablespoon or one ounce of cheddar cheese, and then about a tablespoon or one ounce of bacon. We'll have scoops for you to do this, okay? Then what you're going to do is you are going to fold one end over like so, fold this over like this, and then like so. I'm gonna fold it, sorry, I forgot the other side, okay? So fold one side, the other side, and then fold the top and then roll that together and then we're going to put it in your wrap just like so roll it once right. and again these will be made to order so for java chino you know we, we pre-wrap these the morning of the event you will as soon as someone orders it you'll have this ready to go and then you'll assemble it and then you will put this in the bag for them all right so enjoy